Hello viewers, welcome to the new section QGIS Workflows. In this section we'll cover a variety of things. We'll begin this section by creating an NDVI, then we'll be geocoding addresses and creating raster footprints. Analyse networks, route the networks along a street. We'll then be tracking GPS, perform neighbour analysis. Proceeding further, we'll be creating a DEM from LiDAR and dot density maps. Then we'll be collecting field data, computing road slope, geolocating photos, and detect image changes. Then we'll adjust imprecise footprints, and finally visualize multi-temporal data. Now we move on to the first video of the section that deals with creating an NDVI. NDVI is used to detect green vegetation in an area of interest. So here in this video, we'll use Python to control the QGIS raster calculator in order to create an NDVI using a multispectral image of a farm field. Before getting started, we need to download the image from this link and place it in our QGIS underscore data directory in a directory named rasters. Once this is done, we'll now move to Python console to begin the coding part. We'll first import the libraries. Now, load the raster image as a layer using this code. This is the code for loading the raster image. Then we'll now create entries in the QGIS raster calculator for the two bands using this code. Now we assign the raster layer as the raster component of each calculator entry using these lines of code. We have assigned them. We now select the appropriate band for each entry, so the calculator will use the data we need for the NDVI. The red and infrared band numbers are typically listed in the raster's metadata. This is the code. Next, we assign a reference ID to each entry using the special QGIS naming convention, as you can see. Here the prefix is the name of the layer, which is followed by an at, the rate symbol, and the band number as a suffix. After this is done, we'll build the raster calculator expression. This is the code for doing it. Then we specify the output name of the NDVI image. This is the output name. We now need to set up the variables for the rest of the raster calculator call by defining the raster's extent, its width and height in columns and rows, and the raster entries we defined. These are the raster extent, width, height and entries. Now we create the NDVI using our expression. Next, we load the NDVI output as a raster layer. This is the code for doing it. We must now perform a histogram stretch on the image, otherwise the differences in values will be difficult to see. A stretch is performed using a QGS contrast enhancement algorithm. These are the lines of code required for doing it. Next, we build a color ramp shader to colorize the NDVI. Using this code, we've built it. Once we're done with this, we add entries for each color in the image. This is the code for adding entries. Here, each entry consists of a lower value range, a color and a label. The color in an entry will continue from the lower value until it encounters a higher value or the maximum value. Note that we'll use a variable alias for the extremely long name of the QGIS color ramp item object. Now, we can add the entries to the shader and apply it to the image. This is the code for adding the shaders and applying it. Finally, we'll add the classified NDVI image to the map in order to visualize it. As you can see, when we add the code, we get an output as seen in your screen. This output shows the multispectral image of a farm field. The QGIS raster calculator allows you to perform an array of math on images. The NDVI algorithm is the infrared band minus the red band divided by the infrared band plus the red band, given by this formula. In our calculator expression, we multiply each side of the equation by 1.0 in order to avoid division by zero errors.